Okay, in this video, we will be multiplying decimals, and there's three types of problems that we will do. And so if you want to pause the video here and attempt them, feel free. Okay, so this is our first problem, 1.3 times 4. It's written horizontally. And the very first step that I would recommend doing is write it vertically. So we can write 1.3 times 4. And to make it easy, I'll write 4.0. So 0 times all of this is going to be 0. Then we do 4 times 3. And 4 times 3 is 12. And we go, we start here. So we put a 2. And then we raise it to 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. Put a 5 right here. And now we just bring it down. Um, but also, if you wanted to, it's up to you. If you want to put a placeholder 0 here, you could. Totally up to you. Um, I didn't. But if you want to, you could. So we get 0 plus blank, or 0 plus 0, we get 0. 0 plus 2 is 2, and 0 plus 5 is 5. Now we need to count how many decimals do we have. We have 1, we have 2. And so we're going to go two places to the left, 1, 2. And so our final answer is going to be 5.2, and we can box it in. Now this actually makes sense because, you know, 1.3 times 4 so 1.3 plus 1.3 is 2.6. You double it, you get 5.2. It doesn't make sense to be 520 because you're only multiplying it by 4. And if you think about it, I don't know, maybe you can think 1 times 4 is 4. And 2, let's say 2, 2 times 4 is 8. So you got to be between 4 and 8. That's just a way to kind of think about it kind of logically. All right, this will be the next problem, so let's write it. 2.3 times 4.5. I'll put a little multiplication sign right here. So 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. Next, 4 times 3 is 12. We have to, again, carry the 1 because we said 12. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. And uh, we have 5 plus 0, or 5 plus a blank, we get 5. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 9 is 10. So we have 1,035, but we have, you know, decimal here, a decimal here. We count it. One decimal, two decimal. So we put a little dot, and we go 1, 2. So our final answer would be 10.35, and we can box it in. And I guess, you know, quickly we can kind of think about this. Let's say this problem was 2. 2 times 4.5 is 9. Let's say this was a 3, and let's say this was a 4. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12. So you know it's going to be, you know, something like that. It's not going to be 1,035. It's not going to be 103.5. So you know it's going to be about 10-ish. And now we'll do our last problem, 3.64 times 2.3. Let's write it down. 3.64 times 2.3. Put a multiplication sign. You know, in our first problem, I put a placeholder 0, but you don't really need to. Let's try without it. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19, so carry the 1 again. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. And I'll change colors. 2 times 4 is 8. We start right here. You know, we go 1 to the left. 2 times 6 is 12. Put a 2 right here. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. And now let's combine everything. So 2 plus a blank is 2. 9 plus 8 is 17. Put a 7. Carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 1 plus 7 is 8. Count how many decimals you have. 1, 2, 3. Start here, and then we go 3 to the left. 1, 2, 3. And so we're going to get um, 8.3. 372 and we can box in this answer and that's all we need to do to multiply decimals